No, I hope you are all fine and uh, that everything is going well with you. And if you have not yet subscribed to the channel and you're watching the channel, because the problem is I'm having all these people watching and nobody subscribing. Please subscribe. Okay, back to the story today. So um, today I want us to dwell a little bit on something which might be a little, a little, just a little bit annoying, which is how to dress when you're going for a job interview. Now, one thing that somebody told me, a job interview is like sleeping. When you're comfortable, it will go well. Um, I know there are the usual um, things that you're told uh, that, uh, okay, God, my lips look so dry. Let me Okay. okay, okay. So uh, we are told that um, the uh, job interview, if you're comfortable, then um, you, I mean, when you when you sleep comfortably, you will be able to sleep well. I think it's the same thing with the job interview. When you're comfortable, you are going to perform well. That's one of the things that you need to think about. So, um, Clearly, it will also depend on what kind of a job it is. Now, when you are going for a job interview, uh, the rule of thumb, which I was told a long time ago, is you dress the way you will be dressing when you're going to do that job. So if you are going for a job interview as a chauffeur for a high-end company where you're going to be wearing a suit, you need to go there dressed in a suit. If you're going for a job interview as a kindergarten teacher, you need to go dressed in something comfortable where that you can run around. Because, you know, not everybody still has the same um, policies for job interviews. Some people actually have job interviews where they make you do something practical. So can you imagine if you are doing something practical and uh, you end up you know, uh, being told, okay, now you need to run, you're wearing heels, and you had applied for a job as a PE teacher, they tell you, okay, show us some of your moves, how do you do it, you know, so either carry a bag with change of clothes, or go in the clothes that, even if they tell you, show us what you got, you have it, right, okay, second thing is, do not overwear makeup, even if that's how you're going to be going to work, I think uh, society hasn't evolved enough, and this is across the board. Society hasn't evolved enough to accept that someone can wear strong makeup and still be intelligent. So I think the first impression you want to give them is not them wondering, wow, how long does it take her to put on all that makeup? Um, let their first impression be, you know, if you're going to wear makeup, wear something as natural looking as possible. It's, it's just, it stops the destruction, you know. Uh, the other thing is um, for ladies, your hair, um, especially, you know, my African ladies. Um, so Quite a few people have evolved now. I mean, you you have locks, it's not a big deal. You have what, it's not a big deal. But one thing I have noticed is people pay more attention to you when they can see your face. So, of course, if you have bands, that's a different case. But when you're able to, you know, pull your hair back, don't worry about how big your forehead is. Big forehead, big brain. So, you know, when you're able to actually pull your hair back and show your entire face, it comes out as more honest than if you're hiding your face behind your hair. Um, yeah, so that's another thing. Okay, then unless, another another thing that I would say is um, nails, have your nails looking clean and presentable. They don't have to be extremely long. They avoid biting your nails just before you go because maybe you might get an infection and then it just looks ugly. Um, do not wear too much perfume. Of course, if you're being interviewed via 
video because that's how many interviews are happening right now one thing you need to really do is make sure one you are in a quiet place two you have very reliable internet um three oh, um there's uh no you know a lot of background noise um things like zoom team all that okay you see the way my background has a lot of stuff you can see my kitchen you can see the corridor you can see that picture which is there so there's quite a lot going on normally in my apartment right but when i have like zoom calls or if i was to have an interview uh, what i would do is blur the background so that even if somebody does happen to come in and and but normally of course you kind of you it would be good if you would tell people not to interrupt you it would actually be good if for example you have the interview at your house it would be good if you had a friend who can stand guard in case somebody comes and rings the doorbell or something like that because you never know something can happen somebody can be all of a sudden interested in seeing you and you have to deal with it so some of these things you know things happen okay um so that's um a few of the tips that i would say oh yes shoes now for men polish your shoes make sure your shoes fit for women i know quite a lot of people me being one of them have not put on high heels since the pandemic started now, if you happen to be invited for a job interview, why would you decide that this is the time to remember that you have six inch heels? I mean, you need to wear something extremely comfortable. This is not the time to take risks. This is not the time, you know, you, you, first of all, you don't even know, maybe your feet have even outgrown that. Just wear nice, plain, flat shoes and you should be fine um so that that's i think all the little bits of advice that i can give and you know when you're there just be yourself um i think what you need to remember is these people might be working with you and you want to show them who you are so that they like you for who you are sometimes just your personality might win you that approval so let's just say that sometimes just being yourself being comfortable and then being yourself is an amazing thing to do i cannot remember the last job interview that i went to with a jacket i have carried a jacket to a job interview thinking that i'm going to wear it but eventually i didn't wear it and i think it's just because i i don't feel comfortable in suits i feel it's way too formal and it's not me and i am a very professional person and i'm doing my job but i do my job happily and i i just like doing it the way i like doing it and so of course if i'm in a situation where i have to put on a suit i do have a few that i can put on but i try not to force myself into that box of this is what you have to wear and this is how you have to wear it okay so with that said i would like to just remind you to please subscribe like share and just help out you never know you might have a friend who's uh, interested in learning a few things that i have learned through the years of having lots and lots of interviews